Happy New Year-ish. Welcome to Draw With Me. I'm Danny Gregory. And uh, this is it. The last Draw With Me of the year of 2021. The year that we had looked forward to so much. Remember 2020? Yeah, I know that you haven't forgotten 2020. But boy, when 2020 ended, we were like, oh, thank God that blighted year is over. Now we can finally have 2021. Well, we've had 2021. How'd you like it? Yeah. But that's okay. We have drawing. We've been done a lot of drawing this year. <clears throat> and uh, it's been great. Those Santas. I love all the different interpretations of Santas, many of which were far less hostile and grim looking than the one I made last week. But... Um, Nonetheless, we have made a lot of good art, and in, and in a little bit, I'm going to take, do a bit of a brief kind of year in review. Let's look back at what we've done this year and, uh, you know, reminisce and pat ourselves on the back for doing a huge amount of art this year. I mean, one good side of the pandemic, right? We've had time to make art, and we've made a lot of art, so that's been really good. So speaking of making art, we have this coming up, our watercolor pencil workshop with Kate Lagley. I hope you're thinking about it. It may be, I think it's going to be the last live big scale workshop that we do for a while, I think. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think we're going to be doing smaller ones in the future, which I'll talk about as they come up. But this is kind of our first and... Uh, Biggest first one on, on watercolor pencils, which a lot of people are curious about. Kate Lagley, awesome uh, artist, teacher, instructor, person. She'll be joining us. I think I'm going to try and get her to join us here on Draw With Me in a week or two to just talk about pencils. So you've got that to look forward to. You've also got Art for All, the podcast. This new season is called The Curious Sketchbook. And... Um, I am joined by my buddy, John Muir Laws, to just chat about just junk that's on our mind, about art, about brains, about conversation, about thinking, about being a human being. We released the very first episode this week, and I've gotten a lot of great feedback from people. People seem to really like it. I had one person tell me that they've listened to it now the third time. Well, you can listen to it as often as you like, but you can also... Um, Wait till next week, next Monday, when we release the next episode. We're trying to do it every week. So far, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Um, and I've really enjoyed it. I mean, it is so much fun to just talk to a smart, knowledgeable friend about just life. So, all right. Well, thank you all for joining me. I see we've got lots of folks here, some like Maureen and Carolyn, who... Uh, are joining us live perhaps for the first time or not for the first time in a while. So thank you all. Catherine, thank you for coming back. Catherine has been uh, absent for a while. So that's another reason to be happy that, uh, that we're all here. So what did I want to do? Um, here's what I want to do. I'll be honest with you. I have big ambitions for this episode. I wanted to edit together the highlights of everything we've done this year. And I started working on it. I was working on it, and I was downloading videos, and I was cutting them up, and I thought, you know what? I'm too old. Life's too short. There are a lot of other things I want to do. So instead, I'm going to kind of freeform it like a DJ, and we're going to go back, and we're going to look at some of what we did last year, and we're just going to kind of talk about it quickly, okay? So I want to just go to... Um, go to, where do I go? Here. I want to go here and just, this is the playlist of all of the Draw With Me's that we've done. And I want to just to talk about the, I mean, I think, how many have we done? 155 Draw With Me's so far. So let's just go back and just talk about briefly each one that we did. It won't be too long, but let's just try this. So do you remember this one? This is a group of guys where I found this photo of the strange band. 
And uh, we did drawings of them. There were a lot of interesting and cool drawings that were done of the... Group of guys. Group of guys, exactly. <laughs> and we tried to figure out who they were, yeah. and that was pretty cool. Um, and then we did Horse. Inky Dink. Inky Dink, where we drew a squid of thickness. You think this is... And I was drawing with a dip pen. energy that is transmitted down your arm into the springiness of both of those things. Yeah, I was getting very so excited about dip pens. Really um, so, yeah, so this is that weird squid. And these are some of in my some favorite drawings be, that you guys um, did with squids. And then we did animals. Aminals, I called them, because we were just drawing very simple kids' okay. versions of animals. That is... That is fine. All right, I think we have time to do one more creature. Any votes? Remember those? And what was this one? This was, oh, the, this is when we drew the human heart. We were just drawing a heart for Valentine's Day. And uh, it ended up being this sort of anatomical oh, drawing in sepia tone. Fresh blood of, uh, I want to get out there. of the heart. Buy some Posca pens. And then... This is this one was called autobiography. This one was autobiography. Let me zoom ahead, and where we Woman's drew car. every car we could um, remember having. Car, I was prone to car sickness, so I remember. So, so this is this is like a memoir of all the of our lives told and through Patty all the different cars. Never got it owned. Since, I don't think she never knew how to drive, but we would drive. We would just polish this um, car. And let's see. And man, what is this one about? Blindfold. Oh yes, this is a self out of focus in the background. A blind cool. self-portrait. I mean, you wouldn't think that that was like twenty years of my life. That little kind of squiggly, out of focus. Yeah, some gouache on this thing later on because I just don't want to get into doing gouache. That was right a strange now. one. It's too complicated, and you just have to watch me opening tubes of paint. But I um, see some gouache. I barely remember that one. Hand this hand one, Yestertech. This was fun where we drew all so of perfect. the. Technology that we no longer use. Okay. All the I objects these things like, have to be labeled because it's. I mean, a people may not even if I draw them really great, really well. Um, you know, you still might not recognize. Rolexes and TV antennas are. and dial phones and slide rolls. That was fun. The and then here I was drawn joined by Vanessa Brantley Newton, and uh, we, drew, we, we drew we hairstyles. Stretch out and try other things. I think that's absolutely true. I think. I think uh, you. Or her, I guess it's a her, a person. It's a dad. I'm not sure if that's a drawing of Vanessa. I don't think it is, but anyway. Bit of a that was fun. And then here we drew a gallery, a gallery of different people, um, each in a little frame. Drew. Unfortunate family tree that we have here. Yes, it was a family. Now, made up people. I'm imagining this person is. Ugh. And then um, here's where we Seen drew in real life very quickly. It's not very big. Very. It's kind of different parts of the world. Big. But um, yeah, it's barely. It's. But it's too big to fit on the corner of my page here. So oh well. I think, I think we had timer on but that I've, one. I've. And here we were just doodling. Just doodling like a kid was the one name of this episode. Lines, borders, all that kind of stuff. Just drawing lots of the is, same kind of know, thing. This is, I mean, it is drawing. Teacups and chairs. This isn't even drawing. Well, I mean, obviously, it's, it is drawing. It's not. And here is letters. We drew letters. Because it comes in from the mailboxes. Or wrote letters. To separate it and send it out to the right. A lot of you sent me really nice letters. A leaf blower. So you know that I'm still here and still alive. That was nice. And what else? Oh yes, be a witness. Thick eyebrows. Morgan. Morgan described criminals, yeah. and we drew them. Hmm. Okay. I mean, he had mm -hmm. a thin nose, thin but bulbous. Like yeah. That? Yep. And then he said he yeah, had totally black right. eyes. Yeah, shiners on both. And here we did portraits again. Look at another face. Uh, sorry, when I lost this one. Oh, yes. This was where we had very little time to do a portrait. I think it was like 30 seconds or 60 seconds. No, 60 seconds on the clock to do a portrait. 
draw it as quickly as possible. Guy has a great face. Um, okay, Charlie Chaplin. Remember that? Grammarly helps oh, you work no. more ads. efficiently, which makes accomplishing Not your work ads. goals easier than ever before. Ugh. Ads. YouTube, thank you. All right, Charlie Chaplin. That was quite fun. I'm drawing a whole bunch of different Charlie Chaplins. He's such a great character. Odd. Anyway. Uh, and then Another Earth Day, day where we drew... Looks like upside down. Drew the map so of the world upside down. That was interesting. I'm willing to go on record saying that. Yeah, that Sorry, was, monkey. That was challenging. And then here we forged a Vermeer. Drew that in shades of brown. Brown paper, I remember that. So even things like her expression, stuff like that, not so important. So, you know, I don't have to really worry too much about getting that. And then gray, where we drew Oscar Wilde. Darker, marker, soon. Portrait of Dorian Gray, and we drew, drew the uh, soon enough originator of Dorian Gray, creator of Dorian maybe Gray. Maybe some white and cubism, where we cut up that uh, represents your version of this phenomenon that these cubists were. So here we we cut up a picture we of that uh, stuff out to highlight the things that do matter. Um, to me. One of the originators <coughs> of cubism, and we sliced up his portrait and we pasted it together, and then we drew the com combined collage. Okay. And then World Bee Day, not Bee Day, it wasn't a Bee Day, but we drew bees, in lots of different forms. All right. So they said, "Is this dry? Oh, it's almost dry." Right. Right. Interesting. Good. In so that's dry, and so ink. I can... And here we drew a series. So the idea was, can you draw lots of versions of the same thing? Or different versions. So I drew hats. And I drew lots and lots of different hats. Am I right? Um, nature journaling. I'm observing. Nature journaling was one of our most popular so you episodes. Don't really know. You can see a lot of what it is that you are trying to capture just studying if a little tiny plant are ill-informed and frankly and just wrong travel prep this is when i was getting ready to go back to new york and so just i was drawing things to remind me of new york and also getting I mean, ready by practicing I often draw it from the other side although this is a really nice side it has the two statues of george w here the original george w washington that is and uh, here again, drawing uh, right on the commercial. Arg. Let's turn that volume off. Skip the ad. Turn the volume back on. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to waste them. That kind of thing. Just drawing Fifth but Avenue. Waste them. That's what they're here for. They're here to be wasted. I quite like that drawing. And what else? Marty Feldman. How that came out, Marty Feldman. A really strong brow line. Let's have a look at another picture of him. So, yeah, so I was drawing from several different pictures, it's and like I was doing it in different kinds of colored forehead. ink. Whew. And then, who? What is this? This is self portraits again. Self portraits. Like, how did he paint those things? Because I don't think he was necessarily like snapping photographs of himself and using them, but he would like distort himself in all these kind of weird ways with his hands and stuff like that. It was a fun self portrait. And, uh, and then here, Twiglet, I think. Are you digging it? Yeah. I sound like that that character from uh, Sugar Smacks. Do you dig it? Drawing Twiglet on the iPad. I just meant, do, you understand, do you understand what I'm doing? And uh, here, drawing a bottle of tequila. Passing to a sketch. Wait, let me just zoom backwards here a second. Give me a second. Times the normal size on the, on this monitor. I'm like, whoa, that doesn't. 
Ah, uh, there's the, the, the leaf blower in full fidelity. That's one of the hallmarks of last right, I made year. it a bit more strong. And the year before, unfortunately. I was also thinking is that you can and this is uh, drawing little squares. Yeah, I have like a whole page of these things. I think it's kind of pleasing. It sort of looks drawing like a weird things. graphic novel or like a graphic short story. So this is using a little frame to uh, find things to draw. Cats. This is when I failed miserably at drawing cats and I sentenced myself. Changed. Looking at B. Kleebad. Big fat body. Let's have a look at my actual drawing. Here's one. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop looking at what other people are doing. Yeah, that was that was a nightmarish yeah, episode. All right, um, and here we were drawing, yeah. doing time drawings yeah, of, um, and so we're going to practice doing that. And we're going to so this is Frank Lloyd Wright, and the idea here was to do drawings in different amounts of time. What do we got next? One minute. All right. Do you want to like shake it off? You may take a break. No, just like. This is when uh, JJ was coaching me Why? off screen. Why? Yeah. I got him. Nailed him. Nailed him indeed. All right. And this is a distorted. Uh, the Matrix again. changed my life. The Matrix. I can't wait to see that movie, actually. Um, all right. Let's go to draw with me, please. Keanu. Keanu. We're done. Sorry. Let me refresh that. All right, so this was, God, this is, this is a bit of a mess, this episode, I'm sorry. But here, uh, yes, this is uh, drawing distortions, drawing a distorted version of myself. I haven't spent much time with them. I think that they're, I think I find them a little bit more intimidating, perhaps, just because I'm not that familiar with them and because they uh, move slightly differently. Let's move on. Oh, my God, there's so many of these. Um, okay, Tigers. Then, here we Additional do Tony the Tiger. That I'll do are really just a way of covering up the fact that I didn't get do it perfectly. So I'll be like, oh, I'll just cross hatch the hell out of it. Or, oh, I'll put really weird. Anyway, <laughs> this is what you do. Here I'm explaining how to make a cuppuccino. All right, so we've got the microwave in, 30 seconds have elapsed. We remove. Yes. Everybody's freaking out. I'm embarrassed for you. I'm truly like the microwave right. was the new low. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, that was a difficult episode to get through. All right, here we have uh, Amos Look Lemon, our tribute to Amos Lemon, the, the young artist who died very young. And uh, we, did, we did drawings in response to his drawing. And see a way out of it. Uh, it's easy to critique and destroy. But that's not terribly valid. That was a. I was proud of that episode. Fishes. We drew a fish. That's where it's at, man. It's quite good fish drawings. I'm being very self-congratulatory today. It's funny looking at these things in the past. So you do get some of that stuff going on. Again, not going to get too heavily into it. Bicycles proved to be difficult to draw. And you don't need it. You don't need it to understand this a bicycle. And I'm afraid if I get really spoke heavy, I would become a spokesman, as it were. All right, this is, is Adam's apple. He had on sort of a sweater and a and a shirt with a collar. This is again being doing an eyewitness thing, but uh, JJ was the eyewitness this time. This, and okay. he had a bit more hair than what more you're hair, giving him. More hair, even. More like it's puffy on the sides. Like imagine that turned out to be Bill Gates. Yeah, pretty good. And then suddenly he does like something in the last two minutes Sometimes that makes it go pop there. off the page and become totally but dimensional. So and he's about to do that, and I'm about to not do that. So when you have this kind of power, this is where we Bob Ross painting with Bob. And he was drawing lots of mini self portraits. A lot more disgruntled <laughs> in this drawing because I'm complaining about these damn leaves and somehow that is sort of shown up in the drawing 
It's like a little accordion book full of drawings of me that I was making. Robots. You know, like, why, why is that not a thing? Drawing a robot with a sweater vest. For reasons, right? And a ski. Yeah, so there skiing. we have it. This is, a, this is a skiing, but possibly deceptively dangerous robot. There you um, go. You know, who has... Uh, Thanksgiving. Giving thanks. I'm going to write a note to myself. And then I'm going to mail it to me, as I mentioned, and uh, yeah. and, and I did mail it, and my and my mailman just simply took it and put it back into the mailbox. So I got it the next day, which wasn't exactly what I was thinking. Here we have me butchering the Beatles. There's Ringo, drawn on the iPad, and here drawing my favorite favorite book cover. Honestly, book covers. They're an interesting thing. I mean, I've designed a lot of book covers. They're, they're hard. They're one of the hardest things about doing a book, honestly, is designing the cover. Bird by Bird by Annie Lamont. Making money. Put we designing our own currency. Just as a commemoration of this experience. Leaf blowing currency. And last week. Meet Suvi. Oh, no. The magical all-in-one. Please stop. Here I am drawing yeah, I the uh, Bruce Springsteen, and that could get me in trouble. The evil. But I'm Santa. certainly not going to tackle someone like Santa. Oh, God. Try to avoid politics here and draw with me. What do you think? All right, yes. let me just turn that off. Wow. We did a lot. We did an awful lot. And it was fun. I have to say, almost all of them were fun for me. <laughs> They were amusing in different ways. Um, but yeah, so if you ever want to go lo look back at any of those, they are all in that playlist on our channel. There's 155 of them. Boy. I also look back at the very beginning when, when Draw With Me was like much, it was much easier somehow to do. It was much like lighter and I just kind of turn on the camera and just do something. Now it's like way more produced with sponsors and all that stuff. But I think it's better. I like it. I like it. And it's also longer. It used to be like 20 minutes. Now it's almost an hour every time. So Jen wants a leaf blower montage. I know it's true. I think in the future I'm going to have to bring on our gardener guy at some point and we can just interview him about the year of leaf blowing. Ay, ay, ay. Well, anyway, that was, that was the year. And, uh, Grace, welcome to, whoops, that wasn't Grace, but um, oh, Samantha says that she uses Draw With Me as a resource when she gets stuck drawing. That's great. And then there's, who was I going to introduce? Grace, who's new. Yes, we did so many things. We drew so many things. And that, that has always been the, um, really the, the main idea behind Draw With Me. It's not to do great drawings. It's just to have fun with drawing and to recognize that drawing is just... You know, it's just a fun pastime for us. Sometimes you do really great drawings. Sometimes you just screw around. Sometimes you play with art supplies you're not familiar with. Sometimes you draw something you never thought you could ever possibly draw. Um, and that's generally my approach to drawing, which is it's an adventure. And adventures have good days and bad days. Um, and adventures take you to places you never could have imagined you'd end up. So here we are. At the end of uh, 2021. Here's what I was thinking we would draw today. Um, something to just kind of capture what this year has been like. So what did I have in mind? This. So here's what I'm thinking. Why don't we do a drawing of this transition? Like the, and, and this is sort of the iconic way that we represent... Um, you know, the old year and the new year. The old year is this kind of ancient guy with a long beard, like a hipster who hasn't shaven since the previous new year. Um, old guy, often wearing these kind of brown robes. Again, I'm not sure why. I don't know if that represents a monk. 
I don't know what it is exactly, but this is often the way it's been done, is this guy in a robe with a scythe. I don't know if that's because he's like the Grim Reaper. Is that what it is? He's old father time, and is that is the idea that eventually old father time just cuts you down with a scythe? He looks quite uh, fit here, actually. Look at that uh, lat development there. But maybe he's just kind of th old and thin. But he has a, he's got a good arm on him, and at least at least this Saturday evening post drawing. Um, and. He has glasses. And then, then there's the new year, which is a baby. A plump, rosy-cheeked, innocent baby. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the transition. Here's like a modern version. In the modern versions, the baby is wearing a top hat, generally. I'm not quite sure what happened. But the old guy's wearing sandals, and he's, got, he's always carrying around his hourglass. He's got the scythe and the beard. So that's him. Uh, this one is from 2006, and you can see the old Father Time is saying, wait a minute, you're supposed to be a cute little baby, and the new Father Time is saying, ha, that assumes the new year won't be another 12 months of the same old foolishness. Well, 2007, you had no idea. 2007 was, you know, that was not the worst year. 2008, much worse. And what we've been living through now I imagine we can all agree is pretty damn unpleasant too. But yeah, so this is an opportunity to, you know, as Jen says, reminding us to take stock. Yes. So, and here's, here's one I just saw. This is 2020, yelling at 2021. Wear a damn mask. Yeah. So I was thinking, like, why don't we just do our version of this thing? Let's draw our version of what 2020 is, 2021 is, and our version of the up upcoming 2022. Like, how do we think that's going to go? How would we do it? At the very least, we can draw an old geezer with a long beard, which is always fun. We can draw a baby, which is could be fun. We'll see, and uh, let's just let's just do our version of that and see um, see how we feel. All right, here we go. Got my sketchbook. I like this little sketchbook. This is a little tiny. It's not. It's not tiny. It's called. I call it this and that, but it's like it's a little sketchbook that uh, I like because the paper's thick, but it's small. You can kind of you can kind of make your way through it fairly quickly if you want to. Um, what was I thinking I would draw with? I would draw with a brush pen. And um, let's get into it. Let's draw let's let's start by drawing the old guy. I might draw them on separate pages. We'll see how it goes. Imagine him having sort of a longish nose. For some reason, our noses keep growing through our entire lives. I've heard tell. Noses and ears. So they keep getting bigger. I don't know if that's what the science is behind that, but a bit of nose hair, some ear hair, all of the benefits of aging. Maybe it's a bit got a bit of a thin face. Kind of a stringy beard. Um, what else? He's probably bald. Some nice, 
nicely coiffured hair. Yeah, some, some wrinkles there, some wrinkles here. You know, he should probably have a mask sort of half pulled off. You know, like he's sort of pulled it down. <laughs> because, you know, that's what we thought we, we could do briefly, right? We thought we could pull. We could stop being quite so assiduous. Quite so... <laughs> Vigilant. When it came to wearing masks and the like, and now, of course, we've learned that that's not the case. To our chagrin. And uh, what else? I guess he's supposed to wear a sash. Put that down there, and then... Um, I think I'm going to give my guy some, yeah, he'll be wearing some sort of a monk's robe. He's not going to be wearing a toga like some of those guys. He's just wearing a, like that. Sort of exhausted, he's wearing. I think I'm gonna have to just remind myself to do that. So he's got his mask hanging down there. Maybe he has like a little sort of sticker, like the vac, you know, he like I got vaccinated, got vaccinated. He got vaccinated and he got boosted. And uh, he's holding his scythe like that, but it's sort of defeated. I think in general he's sort of exhausted, exhausted by this year. And, um, Ran out of paper, but anyway, <laughs> there he is. What else should he have? Give me some help here, folks. What do you think? Um, Maybe he's, he's holding his iPhone. Or is he holding a, like a remote? He's holding a remote control. During the second year of binging. Remember when we were kind of excited about binging Netflix stuff? Only to realize after a while that we'd sort of seen everything. Now we had to go back and rewatch Cheers or something. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is like a year that the, it's it's all most, so many of the things that were were new and perhaps slightly different and more interesting about twenty twenty kind of like we've lost our interest in them. This is just sort of the way it is now. So he just look he's just kind of tired and sort of uh, okay. And what about the baby? I feel like he's looking over here, so maybe the baby should be here. Baby's he's cute and it's kind of like a bit terrified looking. <laughs> Baby's sort of sitting there like that. 
drawing a little wreath, a little sash of his own. And he's running a little, little hat. That's what they always seem to be wearing now. I'm not quite sure what that hat is. Is it because it's New Year's? He's sort of looking at him resentfully. I think that's sort of what it's come down to. This, is, this isn't really a cartoon, <laughs> as it turns out, probably because I'm not really a cartoonist, but it's more of, uh, you know, just the fact. A year, an exhausted kind of year. And um, let's, let's make this baby kind of fat and jolly. Well, not, he's not jolly, really. So looking a little, little depleted already. Maybe he, maybe it's more that he's just like kind of handing it over. He's like, "It's all yours, kid." Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, he's saying. Uh, Seeing something along those lines, like He's saying, gulp. <laughs> funny, not funny. We'll give him like a nice jolly, jolly sort of, uh, uh, I guess he's supposed to be naked really, right? But my guy's not going to be naked. My baby's not going to be naked. He's going to be wearing one of those sort of festive terry cloth onesie so I would associate with babies this age not naked all right and uh, let's see what else I'll just throw in a few more colors like Throw in a bit of brown. Sort of, it's almost like burlap that he's wearing. But it's, you know, it's definitely, it's seen better days. He should probably have been wearing, like, sweatpants, actually. Might have been more appropriate. And uh, I'm imagining he, his complexion should be slightly, slightly greenish. And maybe a bit of, bit of gray. Yeah, so what do we think? I mean, I think it's going to be better. I think 2022 will be better. I think so. But I'm certainly not wagering anything substantial on that. <laughs> if a 
got this. But it's kind of cracked. There's maybe some sand is poured out of it. That hourglass. It's kind of like a, you know, like a discarded martini glass at the end of a party that went on for too long. Here we go. Twenty. The transition. Happy New Year. <laughs> All right, that was fun. So, that concludes this year. I don't know if you have any big plans for New Year's Eve. I'm not sure. We, 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 we'd kind of forgotten that it was tomorrow. <laughs> that it's tomorrow and not Saturday. Shows how, like, totally into it we are here in this, in the Gregory household. Will we make it to midnight? No way. No way. We were thinking that maybe we would watch, like, watch it from Times Square so that that would be at 10 o'clock our time. That seems like possibly reasonable. But uh, I don't think we'll make it through uh, old Lang Syne. But then we won't be hungover on Saturday morning. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been hungover on a New Year's, Eve, New Year's Day. It used to be a really fun thing to do. We'd go to lots of different parties and uh, just, you know, stay up really late and all that kind of stuff. But then, you know, then I became a man. And all that fun came to an end. New Year's Eve is... I think here's what I like about New Year's Eve. It means that all this holiday shenanigans is finally done. We can get back to... Just something normal. I've been thinking about New Year's resolutions. I'm not really a big one for resolutions anymore, but it is a time to, to have as a date to say, you know what, when that comes around, I'm going to get serious. I'm not necessarily going to have serious resolutions because I know I'll never stick to them. But it is at least a time to say, you know what, let's just coast through the end of December and then when it comes time for the new year, we can just like start getting a bit more serious about stuff. Start, you know, um, thinking about, about uh, you know. Jen, it's your birthday. Congratulations. My mother's birthday is the next day. That's nice. Um, yeah, it is kind of lousy if your birthday is around that time. My son's best friend is... Uh, Born on Christmas, not so good. So yeah, um, that is, oh, right. In Australia, it is almost New Year's Eve. So you guys are living in the future. How is it? How is 2022? Please tell us as soon as it happens. Um, we'll see. I'm sure it'll be okay. And, you know, so I said, I'm not making resolutions, but I am I am making plans. I have a lot of things that I've been thinking about. I'm kind of rearranging a lot of parts of my job and my life so that I have more free time to think and create. So I am planning on, well, first of all, we've launched this new podcast, which is really fun, and that's going to be every Monday. And then... Um, my newsletter, which I wanted to just mention again, which is here, dannysessays.com. That is my, um, you know, the, the newsletter that I put out every week. And it is not, um, it's not really a newsletter. The newsletter is the form. It, I, I call it Danny's Essays because I like writing essays. I like the idea of an essay. I've been reading E.B. White's book of essays recently, and uh, God, I just love them so much. Um, but... I think essays are, are what I do. An essay is just an opportunity to, to think. An essay means try, right? 
And so that's what I do. Is I tr- they're tries, they're attempts. They're, they may be good, they may not be good. Some are good, some are not so good. I went back recently in uh, the last few days. I went back and read some of the earlier ones I wrote, and I thought, you know what? They actually weren't that good. So I think they've gotten better. I hope they continue to get better. But I am going to be doing more of them, focusing on them more. I'm also going to be doing more video essays here for YouTube. Um, and I'm going to be teaching a workshop coming up that Spark members are going to get to benefit from, I hope. Uh, and also just in general, Spark is just really good these days. I feel like there's so many interesting things going on. It's just such a nice community that it's turned into. Um, and we just have had a lot of good time. So, um, yeah, so if you'd like to get those essays, all you have to do is, is go there, sign up, and uh, they're free. And they, then you'll get one tomorrow if you sign up today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being part of Draw With Me. I love the Draw With Me community as well. I feel like there's so many familiar faces, but I also love it when new people join us each week. Um, it has really been fun to do this year. It's been an, an important thing for me the opportunity to get together with other people and to draw and to chat and to make jokes and to have fun. So, um, so yeah, Christopher Fernandez, a political visual artist. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. That is nice. Dark art. What kind of dark art do you mean? Like satanic conjuring the dark arts? Yes. My art is sometimes dark when I'm in the mood to be dark, but yeah. Um, but it is nice. It is nice to be with you and to spend an hour together drawing. Uh, and I look forward to seeing what you've done. And in a second, I'm going to give you the, the hashtag. For those of you who aren't clear exactly on how hashtags and sharing on social media work, let me explain. Basically, what this means is don't email me your work. That's that's not really how it works. And basically, what you should do is go on sketch on Facebook, go on Instagram or go in the schoolyard, if you're a member of the schoolyard, and just share your, your drawing and put the hashtag, hashtag SBS, uh, draw with me. And um, then we will be able to find it. We, we scour the internet to find everybody who's done that, and then we'll show it uh, next week when I can show your father time and your baby 2022s. So thanks for doing that. Um, if you do, hashtag SBS draw with me. So uh, that's all you need to just put that somewhere on the thing. Is that not what I said? Yeah, S- hashtag SBS draw with me. So good. Well, thank you. Happy New Year. And I will see you in 2022. Thanks for drawing with me today. We'd love to see what you made. So please post it on social media or put it in the sketchbook school schoolyard and make sure to tag it hashtag SBS draw with me. Thanks very much to our sponsors, Hanamula and Windsor and Newton. And if you'd like some more inspiration for your creativity, here are three things that you can do. One, subscribe to this channel and you'll know when I make new videos, which I do every week. Two, Sign up for my free weekly newsletter. A lot of people seem to like it, maybe because it's free. And third, watch another video.